What's going on guys? Welcome to late morning of day 10. That makes this episode 10 in my Timber and Stone season 4 Let's Play. Uh, I want to kind of catch you up to speed. We had a pretty big day yesterday. Um, we had a whole bunch of migrants come in. So actually I'm going to do that first. Let's scan through. I named a couple guys. We'll get there. Oh, I still have one unnamed. I'll have to change that later. So the first one is going to be my new soldier. We got her in here. It's actually female. I don't pay any attention to male female. I just can't do that. I'm um, going to rename it Frostcap in honor of Marius Ver Verneg. Verneg. Uh, you said I would mispronounce it. I did, probably. Uh, but yes, you asked to be named Frostcap. No problem. Uh, you're going to be our new infantryman. I don't know how long your stay may be. Hopefully long and prosperous. But thank you so much for the comments. I do appreciate it. You've been pretty active. So you are now welcome to the colony. The next one is going to be Try. I just did Try for Try It, who also has been in the comments a lot. I just figured I kind of like them to be at least somewhat resembling, if I can, kind of an RPG flavor. So I figured Try was kind of a weird little name. But it is an honor of Try It. Again, you've been very active in the comments. Thank you. You are going to start out as an archer. I am training you up as quick, quick as I can. The general idea is to have two foot soldiers, Jewettes, and I have to remember Frost Cap, and then two archers, which will be Fofi. And I am keep wanting to call it Cecilia because I think that was the last name. Uh, try uh, a four-man military. That's pretty darn good, actually. So I can always have someone um, up on the wall and someone's covering the door as people sleep and as people, you know, come off sleep and stuff. I want to always be protective, and I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, builder will be Rilzon. Also been in the comments. Thank you very much, sir. Welcome to the colony. I do have one unnamed person. I will get to that in another couple episodes. I like to kind of space them out a little bit. Um, basically, the theme of yesterday, and, and just so you know, you can see I have added some wall. I'm going to get into that. Why we, we we saw some heat coming on in the in the evening time. We actually had quite we had some goblins just basically come plowing down the road, attack the door. I think they even got inside. We had some hard times. It wasn't that bad. The archers were able to pick them off pretty easily. But what happened, unfortunately, is we did have another migrant come just walking along the road here, right in the middle of the goblins. He kind of ran off into the woods, running away from them, fought someone, but eventually he died somewhere over in here. So we lost that migrant opportunity. Then we did have another migrant, which this is something I want to point out because I didn't know this. Came in from this way, was walking down, got attacked by the wolves. Actually managed to kind of engage the wolves, killed both of the wolves as you see here. But then he proceeded to just walk off the map and disappear. So even though he didn't die, I did lose that migrant because he was attacked. Which makes sense. You know, hey, you know, this place is so hostile, I don't want to live there. Just want to make sure this road is good. Okay, yes. So I'm hopeful to get a couple more new migrants. We have 11 people living here on day 10. That's pretty good. Starting to get some manpower. You can see I have some projects going. I move the hall over here for now until I... I want to move the hall deeper in over here because uh, guys do get through the door and as people are sleeping here, it's such a big liability. But you see I put up some wall uh, because I've had some archers coming and stuff and I just wanted to have a little more cover. So I figured I'd get started on this wall. The, the idea here is I'll show you. Um, but when I do a start the wall, I'm going to start down here on the bottom, building brick all the way up. So the first f outer edge of the wall is actually going to be down in the moat all the way up. Then once that wall is built, I'm going to undermine these blocks that I'm putting in now and dig all this dirt and stone out and, and have it all brick three. I want to have it at least three or four layers thick. It's obviously going to be a long-term project. It's going to take some time and of brick to, to, to fight the fire. And so something, nothing can really kind of get in. It's going to be multiple redundancies, obviously. So even if the, the wall does burn to the ground, let's say, and there's a breach in the wall, well, I have the moat. So things can't really get in there. So we'll see how that ends up working. I mean, actually, I'd probably be better off not filling the moat with water because then they can't get down. If I fill it with water, they can kind of jump off and swim, I think. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure exactly how that works. And they could get through the breach. But I, I like the idea of a moat, so we're going to go that route. So we're getting more people in. We have this at the realm we want. I'm going to want to start carving this out. I think is going to be today's project. If I get to it, we're starting a little late because of the long night time. I have a wolf over here I might need to take care of. One thing I want is some feedback, guys. This is starting to worry me over here, this island. I'm going to think I'm going to need to do something with it. But look, here's the problem. Look at the size of this wolf pack. <laughs> Let's just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... Uh, what is this? You know, Game of Thrones and Starks over here. You know, we got an archer that's dead over here, which I'm not sure why that is. Looks like a dead wolf as well. All right, so what's killing the wolves over here? That's pretty cool. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what killed him. I didn't see. It. Maybe you know what? Some skeletons must have come through. That'd be great if some skeletons come through and really kind of lighten the load on these wolves. Because I feel like I want to take care of them. These guys, I think. No, these guys are dead. That from before. 
Uh, skeleton's dead. Uh, you know, I need to send some people over here. And, oh, these guys are up in the air. That's a little bugged. Um, I don't want to let it go too crazy. I did have a bunch of archers over here, but they might have been killed by some skeletons, I suppose. There was, like, three. Look, there's another wolf over there. There's, like, three or four, uh, goblin archers over here, I thought. But they might have gotten lost. See, there's a spider right there. You guys know I don't like spiders. Last thing I need right now is a matriarch. But that's a lot of wolves, so... Even if I train up my military, and let's say I take both soldiers over there, heavily armed, it is uh, going to be trouble. I'm going to start the clock up here. Um, it's going to be hard with that many wolves to kind of not die. <laughs> so I need a plan. So I'm looking for suggestions you guys in the comments. I, I kind of get lost and I forget about the island as I'm doing the micromanagement of these. Uh, so I'm looking for you guys to give me some ideas. Uh, send my two, send a, maybe an archer and an infantryman over. And get them over here, maybe, and kind of thin it out, and I can run back in the water. Because the wolves are, I think if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Wolves are very slow. Alright, those are two wolves. It must, we must have some skeletons come through here. Which is great, but this is still a pretty big pack. Speaking of skeletons, one thing I did discover is as I was able to kill a bunch of these guys, which... I uh, could do, there's a wolf, let's see them. Yeah, see how slow they are on the water? My guy could probably get away from them pretty easily. Um, I had an infantryman come up here and walk the wall, and with a pole arm, is actually able to hit these things as long as they're, like, he could hit this guy right here. So that was pretty good. But these skeletons just keep coming through. They're obviously attracted to the hall. That must have been what killed these things out here. Some skeletons that are now up against my wall. I, I do that to kind of relieve some pressure every now and then and get get rid of them. So uh, I did start to mess with guard positions, as you can see. Actually, I'm going to move that one. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Guard positions. I'm going to put it. I kind of want to put them. Is that where I want to put them? Yeah, let's just put it right there for right now. And yeah, we want to. Can I? It's not letting me make that smaller. Yeah, I don't want it bigger. So, okay. Let's just put it there. And you can go up there and perch there. That's fine. Hopefully, you'll hang out there. And I have a. They're training. I don't know where Jouettes went. I'm a little disorganized right now, honestly, but I have had one infantry guy kind of standing inside the door because people get through the door very quickly. This way, if the archer can't get them, if it's not a big threat, I'll let him run the, I'll move the archer off and I'll let the infantry go out and handle it. But that's kind of been my basic plan. Let's take a quick scan around. You see those wolves are dead. Nothing too bad out here. That's why I hope I can get a, a migrant. Oh, here's a wolf pack out here. I don't mind wolves too much. It's not really a threat. There's a lot of dead bodies over here that I could forage. That would be great. Uh, there's a wolf. Is he alive? Nope, he's dead too. Might end up having to send Jouettes out. Yeah, see, look at all these arrows I can get. I'm going to send Jouettes out to forage today. That's just some uh, there's a boar out there. Okay. So, yes, that sounds like a plan of action. Now, where is Jouettes? Look him up. Where do I have? Do I have? I might have him helping mine. Yep, I have him helping mine. Let's not do that. I hate how this always reverts back there. So go to forage, my friend. Gonna try to keep a little eye on him though. And you can see I have again. Frost Cap is now training up as an infantryman. Seven. I'll probably will have them cross train. Infantry guys will learn some archery and stuff. There's no sense in not doing that really. Uh, pretty laggy right now. I don't know what's going on. So all right, come on. Okay, got Hero is chopping some wood because we were pretty low on wood, but now we're doing okay. I'm going to have to go out here, and I just want to designate a lot of this. Prioritize the archers. Oh, there's a spider. Go get him, please. Since I can't get across the way, I want to make sure I can get any ones I can get. So I'm just going to keep an eye see where that guy goes. I did mess with the sliders on the forager and the woodcutter, as you guys recommended. A lot of stuff for it to gather. That's awesome. Is that a live spider or a dead spider? It's a live spider that I missed. Okay, we're gonna have to get some spiders out of here. There's two over here I can get rid of. Gotta keep this, this population down. You guys know my stance on that. We do not need, about the only real threat to me right now, I would say, is the matriarch. Even a necro wouldn't be so bad. Where did he go? Did he go to sleep? No, she went to sleep. That's fine. So where did... Where did Jouettes go? 
starting to get difficult managing the people. Yes, he's coming back already. That's fine, though. He's going to use a lot of commuting time, but I like that. I like him to stay speedy, so if he does get ambushed, he can kind of evade people. Now, where is my builder? There she is. She's putting wood in. I just have wood coming in here. Uh, not wood, I'm sorry. Wood, uh, dirt. We've got tons of dirt, and again, like I told you, I want to fill this all in eventually. And it's going to help her skill up. I don't know why she's not doing this wall. Oh, that's right, because I don't have stone. I have run out of stone. Okay. So, let's see. I have him on there. He's working. He is building it, I believe. Brick, yep. Brick 2 is the brick we will be using. So, yeah, everything's running pretty good. I'm trying to get the fort built up. Uh, letting them dig that stuff right now, but what I should be doing is digging out here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come out here. I think we're going to get that dug. A little bit of a risk here, actually. I'm going to need to upgrade my... Now, what I need to kind of do, let's just do it like this. I need to upgrade my picks because there's actually some coal and iron and stuff out here. I'm just trying to make this little gentle curve and it seems like this might work. I don't know. I'll probably have to end up going over this again. What I want is kind of, like I said, bow this out quite a bit. Let's be careful, buddy. Don't do anything foolish out there. That'll be a good start there. Probably undermining the defenses of my whole system right here. Not a good thing. Because now these will all be one. Yeah, like right here, somebody can just walk right down. Not much I can do about that. It's going to be vulnerable. I will have to have That's why I put the opening right here so the guard can kind of watch both. That's the idea. He is walking where? There he is walking out to get the archer. That's good. Arrows are always good. You know what? Let's walk you out all the way out and get the spider first thing. There's a spider over here. I'm going to double speed it. Again, we started late because it had a lot of crazy stuff go on in, excuse me, the evening. Killed quite a few goblins and stuff. And we had, like I said, uh, trying to manage the migrants and things. We seem to be getting a lot more hostiles. We had, like I said, the migrants seem to just kind of, wow, another spider here. Okay, we gotta, we gotta get rid of these spiders. Had, seem to have goblins just kind of walking right down the road at us. Please have a weapon. I probably should have checked that first. That's excellent. And they were, yeah, they beelined right onto our door. Okay, why did that just stop? I don't know. Oh, another one. Where did he come from? Well, that's going to be three spiders in paper. That's not, that, that makes me nervous. And I'm trying not to look under the ground. Because I don't want to do that. But I might, I, I'm probably better off not knowing. I mean, I just, in this little area, I just killed three. At least said there's one over here. That's going to be four spiders in a little quadrant of the map really concerns me quite a bit actually but I guess you know we're doing it we're, we're, we're kind of keeping them down but it does concern me definitely concerns me that's dead I said right yep, got them. Oh, there's another spider right here isn't there wow what's with all the spiders all of a sudden that's kind of crazy that's, that's a lot of spiders why did that just pause? Is there a spider I didn't see? Did I pass one back over here? Get that one. There's a lot out here for him to gather, that's for sure. Did I run over one over here? It was out of delayed. 
Where is he? There he is. Kill all these spiders. That was what, four or five spiders killed now? Go get him. No. No. Thank you. Alright, I think that's all of them. You're just gonna find them on your own now. So, that's kind of the reason I have Juets running around out here. It's because I want him to kind of accidentally... You get that one? Really? Accidentally find these spiders. Did do this guy right? Okay, and it'll help me keep the spider population now. Because, like I said, the biggest biggest worry I have right now is easily, without a doubt, not even close, a matriarch. That would just spell a pretty bad news for me. Um, you know what I want to do? I want to add wheat to my resources because eventually I maybe I, yeah I'll probably even make Juets my herder as well I'll have him my, my herder that goes out and then I will have a herder that stays right in the colony and that's all he does is treats the animals that would be good over here probably back over this way somewhere safe all right so the training has stopped because you walked away this is one thing that's really pretty frustrating if you're you know the things yeah he's sleeping okay if you're you know, your haul and your wagon or whatever these people go to, I have a barrel right here. I don't know why they don't go get food right there. I don't know. But then they wander away and they can't find the training dummies close enough. So then they they just stand there. Whereas I wish they would either like I could designate a training area would probably be a good way to do it or something. But that's not how we do it. So what are you gonna do? So what are you doing, Juets? I'm not sure what you're... You're grabbing some food. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, if you want to see... I have his inventory to seven. Uh, reason for that, a lot of you guys suggested it. I like the idea. I don't know if seven's the right number. It's going to take some testing. Uh, I want him, instead of going out and loading up on food and then walking back really slow, which seems like a decent idea, and maybe at some point I'll do that if I have more control of the, of the territory. If I do, if he just stumble onto a skeleton, I'm not worried about it. He can usually always outrun a skeleton, but a wolf, uh, wolves are iffy. Probably can't outrun one of them, but a goblin for sure. If he's encumbered and he has all this stuff filling up his pack, he's not going to be able to get away from that goblin. And that's a pretty big concern. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. Because I can dig it. Uh, this way, if I keep him lightly encumbered, he can easily, you know, get away from that goblin, make it back to base, make it back to the archer, that kind of thing, and hopefully survive, basically. <laughs> you can see this. I, I want the road to go all the way down. I will eventually put field stone in there, but that was just kind of an overnight project to keep guys busy. He's going to gather all this up. He's not really gathering food for me anymore. He's just kind of gathering all these little resources. Look at the moon up there. I didn't even see that before. And, yeah, just cleaning it up. Cleaning, getting everybody off the countryside. There is wolves over here, right? That is what we saw. Spider there. Got some wolves up over here, which isn't too bad. Uh, the, the main reason I want to get rid of the wolves is so that when um, chickens do pop, and there's a chicken and some skeletons, I want to go get the chicken. <laughs> We're going to need some more wheat, obviously. I'm going to move this for you. I hope this doesn't get blocked, but I want you to be able to see the wheat. We get the wheat to like 20 or so. I'll, I'll probably start to get the stuff. I, I should probably get it right now. If, if nothing else, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Because for now, I just want to focus on watching duets a little bit. I want you over here. Come over here and do this. Finish the wall for me. I'm, I'm, I don't like looking at the blue blocks. Where did this... Uh, wow, I got some skellies over here I got to get rid of. Where did this... There he is. Okay, I was like, where did this wolf go? Okay, so we haven't gotten any any migrants. That's disappointing. They seem to come when I least expect it. Uh, could be because there is technically a lot of bad guys on the map. There really is. All those wolves over there and stuff. I, I'm just not sure how to deal with it. And it's going to take some getting thought, thinking. I'm asking you guys for feedback. I don't know if I'll be able to wait until you guys catch up. I'm a couple episodes ahead of you guys right now, obviously. But I'm going to try. As you guys catch up on the series. Yeah, see, I don't like... You know, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. 
team save okay We're getting into dusk so yeah we got the guys chopping wood hero when when he's done chopping wood i usually make him help me out in the mines but wood is popping is this tree form over here is just should be ready i think no got a we have saplings in there i don't know if we do don't see any so i can tell him to chop that as well Chop that one. Okay, now I'll give us some more wood. Make sure you guys over the 200 mark. Here you go. Come over here and train. And I'm just gonna monitor the front gate, but as we get this to belly out, we're gonna have to finally make some decisions on these towers. Uh, you know, 10, 15 radius, something like that. And we'll get these laid out, and I'm gonna have the builder start building them, and that's gonna be the start of our front gate. Something I'm considering is, you know, you see what these guys are digging the red. That's going to go all the way down to the bottom of the moat. And then I'm going to have big towers here in this area. And I'm thinking of making a bridge over with a smaller tower out here. And thinking that the archers can then get across the moat out further. Uh, probably be a bridge uh, by scaffolding. They can get out here. They can shoot a little further. Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to look at it once we kind of have things constructed. Because, you know, the... Anything you build is a potential target for a uh, necromancer, obviously, so that's a concern. Fields don't feel like those guys just aren't building that because they're digging this. See, now, right now, technically, my fort is wide open because someone could come down here, go up the, go up that way. So I, I have to be aware of that. I don't know if I want you wets going out in the dark, but hopefully he'll stay relatively close. I can always make him... Tra See, I don't really make him train... Because he's already at 14 infantry. You're not going to gain a lot off dummies. You you will, but I'd rather have someone else using that dummy who might gain a level off the dummy. Whereas Juets is going to probably use 5 or 6 dummies to get, gain a level. 14 is plenty good. He'll, plenty enough to kind of handle yourself in a fight, obviously. And now what I'm going to do is put the road this way. Dig this out as well. So my front is now vulnerable again. <laughs> Not something I wanted to do. All right, he's out here. I just gotta. I want to watch. See where these wolves are. They're out here. Uh, he without any. Does he have armor? He should have armor, shouldn't he? Yeah, he's got his armor. Okay, cool. He doesn't get to carry much before he's encumbered. But that's that's kind of the sacrifice I'm making for the sake of safety. these i have the infantry training dummy set to be rebuilt so i would just have to turn uh cpr on to engineer i'm letting him be my dedicated engineer. the archery targets i do not do that i do not make them uh, rebuildable just accidents can happen it's not worth the risk i could accidentally turn cpr on he could walk over here be rebuilding an archer could walk close and just start shooting and actually you know my guy cpr is a guy I cannot lose he's gonna be you know my skill horse is dead and that's not not a good thing so i yeah, see iron ore i gotta get a uh i gotta get an iron pick going what do we got here raw iron ore none all right because i can't build one so how the heck tools let's see how the heck this is i think this changed for me so copper mine stone iron and tin so copper can't do so bronze i have to make Theoretically, I can make a bronze. I hope he's high enough, because the only thing I can get iron ore is iron or higher, but you need iron, obviously. I could make one iron. Okay. Let's let's just do one of these. Then he could, he could get that done. I'll have him finish this big project, and then everything's sitting around. Hopefully, they can do. I hope it's not too dark for you guys, because I'm trying to go a little longer for you since we started later. And you can kind of see, I'm going to keep rounding this out a little bit. And then as we lay out our tower, I'm going to decide, you know, do, it, do I need to shave more off? But I want the moat to be pretty big, and these towers are coming pretty far out. Now, the wall isn't going to come that far. The wall is basically the main wall. The front of the main wall is going to be in one block in front of these. So, you know, this wall isn't going to extend very far that way, but the tower is going to come out. It's going to be like 10 radius, something like that. You know, I'm going to have to play with that, see what I like, see what works for me. before we know that's all part of the design process but taking the a wolf has been spotted by you oh boy yep okay where is he 
Okay, then. Go infantry. You've got everything you need there. Okay. You're not really going to be able to run these guys, I don't think. Not the whole way. This is what happened. Let's see what the... the yeah, he's not that encumbered. I'm worried that this would, like, make him stop. He's got... See, he has nothing on him, which is a problem. See, I just mess him up by making him infantry. I probably should have kept him a forager because he had the armor on. All right, so I want to see you. You can run, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... What are you? You're a nine infantry. Okay, we're going to roll you out to him. Maybe you can... Wow, it's a long way. There's no way. There's just, it's not happening. But what I'm hoping, actually, is he can thin them out by running. And now he can turn and maybe kill one. Problem is, he doesn't have anything equipped yet, does he? What the heck is going on? Arm yourself, dude. Alright, I'm going to put him back to Forager. I might have just killed the man. Let's see what happens. All right. You're a boss, Jewels. Now get back in this place. Get back in here. Get in here and rest. <laughs> I want to worry about you. Now have this guy going out here, don't I? Yes. Go out here, escort him in. Uh, see, there you go. The whole speed encumbrance thing didn't quite work. But, he still managed to live. Because I was carrying all that gear on him. Just, just chill. I don't, you know, you need to eat. I know, you probably wouldn't do anything even if a fight broke out right now. I just want to get your wets back and then we'll call it an episode. You guys actually got a little excitement there. Alright, you guys can walk back. You stay infantry, that's fine. You're going to have to rest up quite a bit. What I will do... I will set you to sleep a bit more. Hopefully that will help you. As long as I have him standing up here, I'm pretty good that nobody's going to... Oh, there's some skellies. Oh gosh, there's quite a few in here. Jeez. This is what's happening. You can see just the waves. That's fine though. Now I'll kill the skeletons with... Frostcap. But he was going somewhere. Where was he going? Is that him? That's, that's for us. Where are you going? You're going to eat? Yes, that's fine. You can go eat. And then what I'm going to have you do... Eh, you can keep training. That's fine. Jouettes can go and sleep. Yep, I'll have you sleep right now, actually. Night. So go sleep right now, Jouettes. Everybody's sleeping right now. Jeez. Okay, the miner's still working. That's good. So there you go. He came back. Let's just see if he'll head to... He'll probably go eat something and then head to bed. We have some skeletons encroaching. Uh, they don't really worry me, skeletons. Pretty easy to outsmart and get away from. Uh, the, my main concern with these guys is I want them to come in and drip some drabs. Because I do not want to use arrows on them. I got up to 79 arrows. That's pretty good. But he's my out, 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 lookout. Excuse me. But I don't want to use arrows on them. I'd rather use some uh, infantrymen to get out there, kill them first. I'll probably send someone out there over the evening. Like always, if anything exciting happens, I will cut you guys in and show you. Like I said, guys, give me some ideas about the island across the river. I might have to do something before you get a chance to give me feedback. But if I don't, and I'm able to hold off on it, I will try to take your suggestions in mind. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Take care, guys.